Hey guys, Kamikuno. Today I'm doing Wolverine in X-Men issue 6, so let's see what's going on with this issue. Uh, let's talk about the cover first. I'm not in love with the cover. I'm still growing on the art with the, the series. I feel like they they are improving with their art because from for the first couple of issues, we get to see not that great art. I didn't like it. It was very messy art. But with this, it's not great art, but still good. It's I think it's uh, art that could grow on me. But um, hopefully they do change it again. Like you never know. But it might grow on me. So I didn't love the art for the cover, but the concept was pretty cool because this does happen an issue. We get to see a little Wolverine in uh, choir bonding time. So let's see what happens in the story and see if I like that also. So I, like I said from the cover, choir and um, Wolverine are having a little bonding time, or at least they're trying to gain money for the school. And Choir has telepathic uh, powers so he can help Wolverine, and they gamble. They try to get money, and that's pretty much what happens in this issue with them. And they're trying to trying to cheat the system, but they're still trying to get money for the Jean, uh, Jean Grey Institute. But also we have the problem with Kitty Pride. Uh, she's pregnant, but not really pregnant because she has aliens in her body, and they're trying to affect her. So pretty much every X-Men is trying to save her, and they're just trying to do their best. And also we have the aliens who are affecting her, uh, also trying to attack the school, so that's not so great. So the school is being pretty much destroyed. Kitty Pride has the X-Men trying to save her, and uh, it's pretty, uh, definitely a lot of action in this issue. Really love that. And um, that's pretty much what happens in this issue, because we do get a continuation next issue, from the story, which I really like that they really are progressing with uh, each issue. We get to see, alright, in this issue we get to see Wolverine trying to gain money, and in the next issue we'll see how this happens, you know? So they really are really good at progressing their stories, even though they're making this big story arc out of it. Um, I think it's been three issues so far with this story. But I like that. I like that they're progressing it, though. It's not them just talking and saying, hey, you know, this is happening. There's a lot of action, a lot of story, and uh, I really like that about this series. And a lot of my favorite characters are in this series. So this is definitely my favorite X-Men series right now. Um, I'm a big Kitty Pryde fan, big Wolverine fan, and big Iceman fan. So I really love them, and I'm glad that they're in a series together. And I think a lot of the new students are growing on me also. They're pretty interesting characters. And I'm excited for issues to come. The only thing I didn't love about this issue was the art, but it's going to grow on me, I think. Or, again, they might change it like they did with the messy art from the beginning of the series. But, uh, great issue. Uh, I can't, again, a lot of action, a lot of great stuff happening in this issue. And um, also another student that's in here is, um, his name's Broad or Broad or whatever. And that's his species because he's an alien. And I think that's going to be a big part of the next issue also. We're going to see that... Oh, is he from this species? Is he? What does he have to do? What does he have to do with this? Uh, and obviously, it seems like he's on the X Men side, but uh, the X Men, I think, is gonna be a little suspicious. Like, how do they know we're here and all that? And um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen to Kitty. I'm excited to see how the X Men are gonna save her, or if they do save her. I guess will be that they do, but um, how that's gonna happen. And how uh, Wolverine and um, Choir are going to get a lot more money, hopefully, for the Institute. Because it seems like every day, or like every twice a day, this uh, school gets destroyed. So they're definitely going to need a lot of money. And I like that in this series we get to see a reality of having a school. Because every single time you're like, oh, yeah, we don't need money. This school gets destroyed all the time. But they really are getting a reality of it. Saying, alright, this school gets destroyed every single time. We need the money. You know, so I'm very glad that uh, Wolverine and Choir are doing that, and I think it's a very important thing from this issue. Some people will probably say, oh, it's so boring, they're going gambling, who cares? But I think that's a really important aspect of this issue, saying, yeah, this is the realities of having a school of mutants. It's going to get destroyed all the time, you know? So, uh, definitely like that, and I've been really loving the series, and try to give it a try. Uh, if you're not a big Wolverine fan, you might not love it. But it's still a great series. They have really great X-Men characters here. And I think because a lot of my favorites are in this ish in the series, uh, that's why I love it so much. But uh, definitely a great series. And uh, try picking up. I thought this issue was really good. Again, just the art wasn't my favorite. I uh, still give it a four and a half. Great issue. And I can't wait to see how the story arc will continue, what will happen. And uh, I love how the story is progressing. And um, can't wait to see the future of the Jean Grey Institute if it survives. But, um... Still a great issue. I give it a four and a half. I hope you guys enjoyed. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. In the description below, there'll be a link for that. I'll just have comic book news. 
uh, reviews I'll be doing and topic videos I'll be doing. And also don't forget to follow my other YouTube channel, The Rant Situations on Twitter, and in the description below there'll be a link for that also. And it'll just have news on those YouTube videos. I hope you enjoyed, um, thank you for watching, and uh, I give this a four and a half, pretty good issue, and I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.